All right, everyone, thanks a lot for coming and being here today. Once again, Wisconsin is where it's happening in our political process. The reason we're having this event here today in our call center here in Hudson is because northern and western Wisconsin is the key battleground area in the primary coming on Tuesday. And in the last few days, these last hundred hours, what really matters is we've got to get our supporters out to vote and we've got to continue to contact those undecided voters. And we're doing that here day by day. Thousands of calls went out of here yesterday. We're so excited to have a true constitutional conservative here with us today. He was elected in 2010 in the big revolution in our state. We really saw that revolution. And few other senators, maybe only one or two, are as principled conservatives as Senator Mike Lee. Give him a big Hudson welcome. Hello, Hudson. It's wonderful to be with you today. Uh, it's great to be here representing my friend Ted Cruz, the most conservative, the most reliable, and I believe the smartest member of the United States Senate. You know, when I, I decided to endorse Ted, um, I, I had a couple of things in mind. One is that he is my friend, and, and a couple of things that are important in, in a friend. You want somebody who always tells the truth, and you want somebody who's going to do what he says he's going to do. Well, Ted Cruz was elected by the people of Texas a few years ago to represent them in the United States Senate. He promised to do a few things. He promised to oppose Obamacare. He promised to resist any effort to undermine your Second Amendment rights or your religious freedom. And you know what? He showed up to Washington and he had the audacity to actually do those things, every single one of them. Ted speaks the truth, even when, especially when it's difficult. And he does exactly what he says he's going to do. He's done that for the people of Texas. And now I'm hoping and I'm looking forward to the day when he will do that for the entire country. So are you ready to deliver a victory this Tuesday? Yes. Uh, let me tell you what happened in, in my home state of Utah. We had our presidential contest just a couple of weeks ago. You know, going into it, we weren't sure where it was going to turn out. We were, uh, uh, the, the polls were a little murky. They were a little uns uh, unsure. And we rallied the people of Utah. We helped them know who Ted Cruz is. You know what happened? 69% of Utahns voted in favor of Ted Cruz. Are we ready to beat that record here in Wisconsin? Are you ready to open the next chapter in the Reagan conservative revolution? Are you ready to restore constitutionally limited government to the United States of America? Then join me in this noble cause. Let's elect Ted Cruz the next president of the United States. It's, it's my, pro, my uh, high privilege now to introduce uh, someone who has become a good friend in recent years. Uh, someone else who always does what she says she's going to do and always tells the truth. Someone who I respect and admire. Someone who is, uh, I believe, the single most effective and definitely the best looking member of the Ted Cruz campaign and the Ted Cruz family. <laughs> Heidi Cruz! Well, I am so happy to be in Hudson. Thank you for having us. What a uh, great group. Uh, our office is packed. And you all are very, very, very special people because Caroline and Catherine are traveling with us. And they don't go to every event. And they wanted to come out of the bus to see you. So this is Caroline. She's seven. And Catherine is with Tammy. She's five. And uh, they love campaigning for their dad because there's no one in the world that they love more than their dad. Um, I just want to thank Senator Mike Lee and Carly Fiorina for being here with us today on this campaign trail. You know, um, Ted being in the Senate has been a really unique experience. Ted has stood out for what he believes in. It's been a lonely place. Um, it would have been a lonely place if it weren't for Mike Lee. That's right. And Mike has been a true friend. Whenever. 
whenever I go up to the Senate, I always get to go to Mike's hideaway. Uh, we get to walk down the back halls together, and it's always Ted and Mike. And so our girls know uh, Mike is their daddy's best friend. So. <laughs> Uh, and John, uh, thank you so much for coming with your dad to campaign. Uh, we love your state. We've been here for a few weeks. We're going to be here straight through April 5, and I can promise you I'm coming back after the campaign, after the election. <laughs> You all are a special, um, special group in America. You're well informed, politically active. You have a beautiful state. Uh, you know what your products are: cheese and beer. We benefited from both. And brats. And we're really, really proud to have the support of um, so many folks of Wisconsin. I want to tell you how important your work is. It is critical that we run through the ribbon all the way through till Tuesday night. I'll never forget one of the very first quarters in the campaign. We were raising money, and Ted called me about 4 p.m. and said, "How are those phone calls going?" And I said. Great, we hit our goal around noon, so um, I'm gonna, you know, go kind of get ready for tonight. He said, "Get ready for tonight." He said, "You've got six more hours to call before 10 p.m." <laughs> so I ran back to the phone. So just know that Ted is expecting each and every one of us to call and block walk and do the hard work. But let me tell you um, something that might make that job easier. Just three quick things about Ted. When I met him 16 years ago, I know I knew that I'd met more than my match. Uh, I was raised in a conservative Christian family. Uh, my parents were Christian missionaries. My brother and I had a bread baking business growing up. Ted was raised in a similar household with a strong faith and a, um, a father who was a freedom fighter. Uh, Rafael Cruz knew the importance of elections and knows that what you're all doing here today is the difference of what protects us from the tyranny that can be government. And it's critical that we know how quickly things can change, how quickly we can lose our freedoms and liberties. Ted was raised on the Bible and the Constitution. His mom was the first in her family to ever go to college. This is a family who knows the ups and downs of small business, who knows the value of education, who knows the value of freedom. Um, I loved how principled Ted was. He didn't learn what to believe to run for office. Um, he's running for office because he knows what he believes. Uh, he's a man of great courage. Um, he and Mike and Carly have stood out as courageous conservatives in this country because we know that government should work for us, not the other way around. And lastly, I just want to tell you that Ted is the most thoughtful son, husband, and father. Um, whenever he's home, he always wants his mom to come down, and I still remember 27, I remember telling 27 million Texans that there's one person that Ted really listens to, and that is his mother. So their U.S. Senator, really still, his main guide is his mother, and she's our neighbor, and she comes over whenever he's home, and they talk late into the night. Um, Ted's an incredibly thoughtful husband. He is um, a man of very low stress, uh, high conviction, and it makes him pretty unflappable, and some of the biggest moments of the campaign right before that South Carolina primary. Ted came running into the hotel room, but it wasn't to get people going and doing something for him. It was to do something for us. He brought us a big bouquet of flowers and chocolates to make sure that Valentine's the next day that he was going to wake up in the right place. <laughs> uh, and he sure did. <laughs> and every time I tell that story, he brings me more chocolates. So I'm going to keep telling it on the road. <laughs> uh, Ted is um, an incredibly thoughtful friend. He takes time out for the people that he loves the most. And I just want you to know that um, he's not only a happy warrior. He is really, really good at this, and it's because it's from his heart, and it's because it's from his faith, and he knows that he's doing this for the country and for you, not for himself. So you're on the right team. We're going to win this. We're going to win this race. We're going to win the state of Wisconsin and then the nomination, and then we're all going to go on to beat Hillary. So with that, I want to thank you for your work. I want to introduce to you a uh, lady, a businesswoman, uh, a leader that I have admired not just from this campaign but for many decades. And I'm so proud uh, to have Carly with us on our team. I told her the other day there's no greater honor than having her um, spend time with my girls because they see a woman who is strong, um, who's a leader, who is principled, but also um, who is the emotional center of her home, I know as well. Uh, she's been singing songs to the girls on the bus. We've been playing Uno last night and we're having a great time. So, Carly, thank you for what you represent. Thank you for being here. You know, people say that politics is a blood sport, and yeah, let's face it, there's some things that happen on political campaigns that aren't so fun, but I have to tell you, I've had a blast on the bus with Heidi and Caroline and Catherine. I've had such a wonderful opportunity to get to know Heidi and Ted personally. Heidi, an accomplished woman in her own right, uh, who brings so much to the party, she will make a magnificent 
First Lady of the United States. And it's been a great privilege for me as well to get to know Senator Lee, Mike Lee, to call him a friend now and his son John. You know, I always sort of saw Mike Lee from afar on the TV like many of you did and it's really been uh, great to get to know a principled, courageous fighter up close and personal. So, thank you, Mike. I noticed, um, I was looking while I was listening to Mike and Heidi talk, I was looking at that board back there and it says today's goal, 10,000 calls. So, you gotta hit that goal today, folks. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna have a fun time here, we're gonna take pictures and shake your hands, but actually it's really important that when we're done, you go back to making those phone calls because actually I think it's vital that not only Ted win Wisconsin, but that you send him out of here with a really big win. Because Wisconsin, yes, you can applaud that. You're gonna send him out of here with a really big win. And the reason that's so important is, first of all, Wisconsin in this cycle is actually incredibly important as a state. It's not just that you come at the right time. I, I was on the Charlie Sykes show this morning and I said to Charlie, I think the people of Wisconsin, conservatives and Republicans of Wisconsin, have earned a special credibility with other conservatives and Republicans around the nation because you have worked hard with your governor to enact reforms. You stood up against a lot of opposition to actually get the right things done. And so people around the country know that you're informed and you're active and you stand for your principles. And so I think when Ted Cruz leaves here with a big victory, thanks to all of your help, that's gonna send a really important message to the Republicans and the conservatives who have yet, yet to vote. I want to tell you about how I got here, because I didn't expect to be here, honestly. You know, God always works in mysterious ways. But, you know, I ran for president because I understand in deeply personal terms, as we all do, how unique and exceptional this nation is. I have had the great privilege of living and working all over the world for many decades. I've done business work, charitable work, policy work. And I can tell you with absolute certainty that it is only in this nation that a young woman can start out the way I did, typing and filing and answering the phones for a nine-person real estate firm in the middle of a deep recession in the late 70s, go on one day to become the chief executive of what we turned into the largest technology company in the world, and run for the presidency of the United States. That is only possible in this great nation. And yet, we have come to a place in our nation where people don't believe that this is a land of possibility anymore. We have record numbers of men out of work. We have record numbers of women living in poverty. We have record numbers of young people who don't believe that the American dream exists for them. A country that has always represented freedom, suddenly people feel as though our freedoms and our liberties are under assault, whether that's our right to bear arms or our right to practice our religion, and that is true. And around the world, a nation that has always stood as a beacon of hope is no longer leading. Ted talks about the three issues in this election being jobs and freedom and security, and that is absolutely right. I ran for president because I thought it was important that we have a real conservative in the White House. Why? Because you see, it is a conservative who understands that it is too much power concentrated in the hands of too few that is the source of our problems now. We have too much economic power, we have too much political power concentrated in the hands of too few people in Washington, D.C. and in New York. And when all that power gets concentrated and is, has been concentrated by, let's be honest, both Republicans and Democrats, then suddenly our opportunities and our possibilities are taken away from us, our liberties are taken away from us. I also ran because I thought it was so important that we have someone who will challenge the system, actually challenge the system, because the system isn't working anymore. Well, actually, the system works for a few of us. The system works for the big, the powerful, the wealthy, the well-connected, but it doesn't work for the small 
or the powerless or the unknown. And that's most of us, let's face it. When I suspended my campaign, a couple weeks later, we had a primary in the state of Virginia, which is where my husband and I live. And so I went into the voting booth and I had a decision to make. My dear husband, who I've been with for 34 years, said on our way into the voting booth, I'm voting for you, honey, you know. And, <laughs> and I have to say, I saw my name on the ballot and I was tempted. It was a thrill you to see your name on a presidential ballot. And then I thought, no, no, there's too much at stake. And I checked the box for Ted Cruz. <laughs> Because I know he's a conservative, and I know he will challenge the status quo. And I tell you that story because I want you to know this. I checked that box for Ted Cruz before I ever had a conversation with him about endorsing him. So this isn't about a deal. This is about what's right for this nation. Now, before I let you go and we take some pictures, I want to talk for a moment about Donald Trump. <laughs> Because I know that you're going to talk to people on the phone who say they're Donald Trump voters. I know a lot of Donald Trump voters. Let me tell you something. The people who vote for Donald Trump imagine, I think, that he will challenge the system. They call him an outsider. Listen, folks, Donald Trump is the system. Donald Trump has taken advantage of the system his whole life. He and Hillary Clinton are actually two sides of the same coin not just because they both like single-payer health care systems, not just because they've held liberal beliefs, no. They're two sides of the same coin because Hillary Clinton has made her millions selling access and influence from the inside. And Donald Trump has made his billions buying people like Hillary Clinton off. He will not challenge the system. He is not in it for the little guy. He will protect the system, preserve the system, take advantage of the system as he has all his life, and he's in it for him, not for you. So when we're done here today, I need you to get back on the phones and talk to everyone you know, because you need to send Ted Cruz out of here with a big resounding victory so that people across this country say, you know, the people of Wisconsin are real activists, they're real conservatives, they're real Republicans. Ted Cruz must be the next president of the United States, and you, the people of Wisconsin, are going to get that going in a really big way. Thank you for everything you do. I know it's not easy. We're going to take your pictures and your phone calls. Make sure this lovely lady is the first lady of the United States of America. <laughs>